welcome to another innovational production. Today I'm going to be showcasing my new monitor arm, which is the North Bayou or Bayou H80. Now the popular version of this is the F80, which you'll find quite a few videos on YouTube for, but this one, not so many. Now the difference between this one and the F80 is that the F80 similarly has the two sections of the arm here, but connected to the clamp here. The reason why I went for this model is because of the height adjustment. It's quite versatile in terms of the height where you can actually move this arm all the way up the post or down, whichever one suits your needs. So just a quick overview, this monitor arm comes in three parts. So you've got two section arm here, you've got the post and you've got the clamp. And installation is very easy. You've got Allen bolts, which you use to secure the clamp to the post. And this arm simply slots onto the bolt. And over here, you've got a bit of a clamp here, which you can put somewhere along the post. And this will help you adjust the height that you want for the arm. Now I've got it at the very bottom, so I don't actually need this clamp. In terms of angles, this arm here can go all the way around 360. In terms of this second arm here, it can go almost 360, but of course it will be blocked by the post here. In terms of this section here, it's adjustable like this, up or down. In order to adjust the tension, you actually have a Allen head here in order to increase or decrease the tension of this movement. And over here you can see another Allen head bolt where you can increase or decrease the tension to adjust the tilt. And the tilt of this monitor arm is pretty good because you can go pretty much 180 up and 180 down, which is not really useful for most people, but for my application, it's really useful. You're probably wondering why I've affixed a piece of plywood onto this and not a monitor. Well, if you watch my next video, you'll find out why. Another adjustment you can make is this pan adjustment here, which doesn't have a tensioner, but it works quite well. And finally, the last adjustment you can make, which is quite handy for people who want to change the orientation of their monitor, is this here. So this is a rotation adjustment and obviously you can go 360. And that also does not have a tensioner adjustment, but it doesn't need it because it's quite stiff. And finally, you have a cable organizer here where you can put your cables from your monitor through here and then through the arm here as well. And of course at the back here with this plate is where you affix the monitor arm to your monitor if it has these visa connectors. And don't forget to watch my next video where I'll reveal the mystery of why I've got that piece of plywood attached to this monitor arm. Thanks for watching.